questions, please, please, please. Right now, I'm a mother, I'm a brother, and I'm inside the house trap. I'm a fridge prep of um, the water with our stove. Our machine and um, dryer literally in water. Everything is swimming, my couch, everything. And right now, we can't even exit the premises because the water up to this window right here. And if we open the door, we well, more water coming in. And it's real madness right now. It's real madness. Please, I need some assistance. I'm trying to call the fire, the police, anybody. They're not answering. I don't work on the lines, but please, somebody, please. Hello. My name is Sharon. I live in a low-lying, flood-prone community and this is my story. It's been raining heavily all week, and it's only getting heavier each day. I'm starting to get worried, but I know with the embankment around us to keep out the water, things will be okay. My parents have been monitoring the weather news forecast and it has been reported that the eastern and southern areas of Trinidad have been severely affected by the torrential rainfall. As the rain calmed down on Wednesday morning, I went over to my neighbor's house, Rosie. Rosie is my best friend in the whole wide world. I told her about my concerns about the continuous rain and that I wanted to do something that would help us monitor the level of the flood water, so that we will know when to evacuate. Rosie is a university student and she studies engineering. She gave me an idea, that we could easily implement in our community, that the young people could be a part of, in helping with the imminent flood threat. Hey Sharon, how you going? I have a great idea, you know. What if we got all the children of the community to draw flood measuring sticks on the walls outside their homes? That way, if it reaches a particular point, we will know that we need to evacuate our homes before the waters rise any further and endanger our lives. Yes, you see, these flood sticks will not only save our lives now, but also later on. At university, I was taught the importance of data collection to conduct our flood analysis studies. With these flood sticks in each home and around the community, during extreme flooding events, we will be able to record the water levels. This data can later be used by engineers and hydrologists to calibrate and verify their models and design the ideal embankment or the right size ponds or the pumping power of the pumps that will minimize the amount of water entering our community. That's a fantastic idea, Rosie. I'll go tell my parents about it so that we can do it at home. Hey mom. Dad. Rosie and I came up with a great way that can save us from the floods. Do you want to hear about it? Not now, darling. We're watching the news for any updates. Don't you worry about it. If anything is to happen, I'm sure the relevant authorities will arrange everything to evacuate us and save us before the floods. My parents didn't want to listen to me. They think I'm too young to help. But, we are never too young, to make a change. Let's do a Facebook post, and, invite all of our friends in the community, and, in other flood prone areas to do the flood sticks with us. Let's show them what the youth can do. Later that day, Sharon and Rosie did a Facebook post, showing how to draw the measuring stick on their homes, and how to use pieces of old wood or PVC, and make markings on them, using a ruler. When they created their measuring sticks, they could stick it in the ground, in different areas throughout the community. They also advised the young persons to post photos to social media showing any flood sticks in action. Of course, they advised that no one is to venture into flood waters. Later that day, as more persons sent their photos, it was observed that the flood waters were rising rapidly. However, there was no word of evacuation for the community. Sharon and Rosie showed their parents the different photos from yesterday to today, and they were appalled at the change in water levels. They immediately jumped into action, 
placing items on higher ground where possible and packing away important documents in flood-proof packaging. Afterward, the entire community was seen mobilizing in their vehicles to evacuate the community. Even though no word came from officials, the adults decided to listen to their children, because a picture tells a thousand words. You see, Rosie? You can be any age to make a difference in this world. And, possibly save lives. Our flood sticks, saved lives.